today's video, I'm going to share seven tips and tricks that are sure to make your drawings look better and save you time when it comes to displaying them in your layouts and viewports. Let's jump right into today's video. All right, so probably one of the first or main tricks that you're going to want to learn when working with viewports is not only the fact that you can have multiple viewports in a drawing. So you can see I've double clicked in this one over here, or I can click in this one over here. So I've got two visible right now. But that key tip is that you can change what's visible in one versus the other. So this can be great depending on the type of work you're doing, but to show something like a full floor plan on the left and then show specific details on the right. These viewports could be even at different scales, like one zoomed in on just the kitchen or laundry room and the other one showing the full house plan. This would also apply to site plans and drainage plans or uh, mechanical drawings or anything of the type. So the trick here is if you've got a viewport selected, so you can see it's highlighted that I'm within this viewport and I can select the objects, you can see that these objects are displayed in both. Now if I want to freeze or turn off specific objects while I'm in a viewport, I can simply click this freeze icon up here. The command would be lay freeze or L-A-Y-F-R-Z. Now any object I click, that layer is going to be frozen in only the viewport I've selected. So you can see if I want to turn off these electrical symbols in just this drawing, I simply clicked one of each of the layers and I have automatically turned them off. But the key here is this is only affecting this single viewport. So if I hit enter, it's going to finish that command. I can click outside of the viewport to deactivate it. And now you can see the electrical is still visible on the left but not on the right. This is a great and easy way to quickly clean up your drawings in just a few clicks. Anything you don't want shown just a few clicks away from being hidden and not displayed, yet all of these objects are still available in the model space or in any other viewport in your layouts. Now for the next tip, 